Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Semetics. Today we have a very interesting Olympiad question. We know that x plus y equal to 10, and we know that product x times y equal to 10 as well, and we need to find our x and y. If we have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section, and we'll check our solution real quick in a few minutes. It will be really interesting. So how can we solve this question? So from, from the first equation, let's find our y. So y will be equal to 10 minus x. Okay, so our first step, we're going to write our y equal to 10 minus x. I hope you understand it. We just subtract x from both from both sides. And right now let's plug in instead of this y, let's plug in this 10 minus x. We know that y equal to 10 minus x, so let's plug in this 10 minus x instead of this y. Okay, so let's do this right now. So as a result, what do we have? x times this 10 minus x, okay, 10 minus x and equal to equal to 10. Okay, so here's our expression, and right now we know uh, that we need to find from here our x, we don't have y anywhere, yeah? so we need right here we need to find our x. Let's do this, let's open our parentheses, so as a result we have 10x minus x squared equal to equal to 10. Okay, right now let's simplify this, let's change in order, so let's do basic stuff from here, because it looks like a quadratic equation, yeah? So on the first position let's write minus x squared, so let's do this right now. So we have minus x square plus 10x on the second position plus 10x and minus 10 from the left side. Okay, minus 10 equal to 0. And we know the final tricky move because we prefer a positive sign right here. So we need to divide or multiply, doesn't matter. So multiplying by minus 1. It changed nothing, but in the same way it helps us to change this sign, the main sign from here. Okay, so as a result we have x square minus 10x and plus 10 equal to equal to zero. So here is our quadratic equation. So finally we simplify it. And right now let's solve this quadratic equation. From here we need to know uh, real quick coefficients or you can easily solve it in another way, but let's do basic one. So a equal to one, b equal to right here we have minus 10, yeah? And c equal to uh, and c equal to equal to ten. So right now let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. First of all we can easily find real quick our discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. Let's do this. Let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. So we have b square. So we have minus 10 square minus 4 times uh, 1 and times 10 times 10. As a result, what do we have? Our discriminant is equal to, so right here we have 100. So 100 minus 4 times 10 equal to equal to 40. And as a result, we have our 60. So it looks like we have a real number, roots, real number, uh, roots in our question. Right now, let's plug in this discriminant into next spot, in, into our formula. We, we know that x first and second equal to, we have minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over, all over to a. All right. So right now let's plug in, we have minus b, so we have minus b equal to minus 10, so we have minus minus 10, yeah. The next thing, what do we have? Plus minus square root of discriminant, square root of, we found it before, yeah, we have square root of 60, and we divide it by 2a by 2 times 2 times 1. Let's simplify this a little bit. We can easily do this. First of all, uh, the main rule right here, minus minus, we have plus, so we have 10, plus minus, right here, the square root of 60, let's rewrite it like that, let's leave it like that, let's simplify it in the next step, okay, so, and we divide it by 2. Right now, this square root of 60, let's, uh, this 60, let's write as 4 times 15, okay, let's do this right now, so uh, from here we, we continue, so we have 10 plus minus square root of 60, we're gonna write 4 times 15, 4 times 15, and we divide it by by 2. Right now, a uh, really interesting, really great property, we can easily split it, because we have multiplication, so we can easily consider it as square root of 4 times square root of 15. So as a result, we have 10 plus minus square root of 4 times square root of 15, and we divide it by, by 2. Okay, equal to, right now we have 10 plus minus square root of 4 equal to 2, so 2 square root of 15 over to and the last tricky move a lot of students forget about it but but we can easily we can easily uh, write this one as 10 over 2 so we can easily divide it by this common denominator so 10 over 2 plus minus 2 square root of 15 over 2 and from here we can easily cancel these two and right here we have 5 so as a result our x first and second let's write it all oh, okay let's write it right here so 5 plus minus square root of 15 okay square root of square root of 15 and from here we can easily write uh, this one so let's write it as x first and second so finally we found it so we have 5 
plus minus square root of of 15. This is our x first and x second, but don't forget about y, because in the beginning we had that our y equal to 10 minus x, so let's rewrite this expression right here. So our y first and second equal to 10 minus x, all right? And right now let's find it real quick. So from here we can easily find our y first, okay? Let's do this right now. Let's find it from here, for example, on the left side, this one, second one on the, on the right side. So from here our y first equal to Mm, 10 minus x first, okay, so as a result, what do we have, y first equal to 10 minus x first, let's consider it, for example, with the positive sign, because we have both cases, everything is great, when we when we check right here with a positive, with the negative sign, doesn't matter, let's consider it as with a positive sign, so minus 5 plus square root of 15, okay, and as a result, we have y first equal to 10 minus 5 minus square root of 15. So as you can see, a little bit like symmetrical thing. Yeah, we have y first equal to, so this one equal to 5, so 5 minus square root of, of 15. Yeah, we, this is our y first. So right now we can easily write pair, our pair real quick. But first of all, let's find our y second, because y second equal to 10 minus x second. And uh, right now let's consider, for example, our, uh, uh, with the negative sign. So from here we have 10 minus, 5 minus square root of 15, and there's the same symmetrical stuff right here, so y second equal to 10 minus 5 and plus square root of 15, yeah? And from here our y second equal to 10, uh, not like 10, right here we have 5, yeah? 5 plus square root of of 15. So right now let's write our both pairs. We have two uh, two pairs in our question. Let's write it. I write it as our as answer real quick, and then we will check it, okay? So we have our answer our answer, we have pair x and y, we, we're gonna check it real quick, okay, because it's really great, okay, so we have uh, x first, we considered it right here with a positive sign, so we have 5 plus square root of 15, and y, y first equal to 5 minus square root of 15, minus square root of 15, and the second pair, the same one, but with like a th with symmetrical sign, like mirror, okay, so we are talking about minus plus, we are talking about plus minus, yeah, so 5 right here minus square root of 15 and y second 5 plus square root of 15. But right now real quickly check it. I'm going to rewrite uh, this ex uh, this question from the beginning. So x plus y equal to 10 and xy equal to equal to 10 as well, yeah? And right now let's check it real quick. We have addition and multiplication. We have uh, a really great mathematical operators because we don't need to check both of these uh, roots, x, uh, this one and this one, because we're talking about addition. So it doesn't matter, we added this one to this one or this one to this one, we will have absolutely the same stuff. So first of all, let's check our division, but let's use this pair, for example. We don't need to check both because these are symmetrical pairs, okay? So as a result, x plus y, need to be equal to 10. So right now let's add it. So we have instead instead of x we have 5 plus square root of 15 plus y. y equal to 5 minus square root of 15. And I hope you see this. I hope you see this. We can, we're gonna cancel this square root of 15. And as a result we have 5 plus 5 equal to 10. Uh, and right here we have 10 as well. So our addition works works perfectly right here. Our root is is correct. And right now the final uh, final tricky move, let's check our our multiplication. Let's do this right now. Let's check it, for example, right here. So parentheses, 5 plus square root of 15, and we're going to multiply it by 5 minus square root of 15. A lot of students waste their time. They want to multiply this step by step. But if you look closely, we know a really great formula from school. Uh, this one needs to be equal to 10 as well, yeah? We know a really great formula, a square minus b square equal to a minus b and a times a plus b. And if you look closely at our question right here, okay, this is our, the same formula, this is our difference of squares. We have a plus b, so for example, this is our a, this is our b, this is our a, this is our b, so we have a plus b, a minus b. So this is our difference of squares. So as a result, we have 5 square minus square root of 15 square. So we are talking about a square, this is our a, this is our b, this one needs to be equal to 10, and I hope you see this, that this is a correct expression because we have 25, 25 minus square root of 15 equal to uh, to the second power obviously we're going to cancel this one so minus 15 equal to equal to 10 so as a result we can we solve it absolutely correctly both roots are correct you can easily check this second pair but you will have absolutely the same stuff 
you will have parentheses with a negative sign, parentheses with a positive sign, and you're going to cancel this square to 15, doesn't matter what order you prefer, okay? So this is my explanation to this question. I really hope you understand it. Here is my answer. I don't, I don't want to rewrite it once more. Here's our answer. Absolutely correct answer. We, we checked it. We checked it absolutely correct. So, correct. so this is our proof to our question. This is our answer. And of course, this is our solution. You can also pause the video and write your answer down, write your thoughts down into the comment section. So wish you all the best in your life. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your kind comments, for your response. I really appreciate it. And wish you all the best in your life. See you in the next videos and have a great day.